At some point in time, GTA 6 will be released to the public. The official trailer and additional sources have given us a new perspective on possible upcoming features. Based off of this evidence, we can infer that these features will definitely exist in GTA 6, with the first feature being a larger variety of police cars. In the GTA 6 trailer, I captured a total of five different police vehicles. There's the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and finally the fifth one. We've already seen a couple of these in GTA 5. When you're wanted in GTA 5, there's only a small variety of police vehicles that chase you. I'm sure you know what those are, though. The second feature also has something to do with vehicles, and what that is is better vehicle realism. This could be updated interiors, physics, and more. In the GTA 6 trailer, there are small little details such as better looking door handles. Based off of this image, they probably serve more purposes than just opening and closing. While some vehicles' interiors in GTA 5 look pretty good, others look pretty bad. That brings us to the third feature, many more breakable items. In this image, we can see a pretty bad vehicle accident. Looks like the car suffered a lot of damage. Not only that, but also parts around the freeway. Based off of this image, this could also apply to structural buildings, because right now there isn't really much. Speaking of buildings, feature number four is explorable and interactive buildings. It is rumored that most of the buildings in GTA 6 will be able to be fully explored. This image shows a pretty good looking interior of a random building from the GTA 6 trailer, but a lot of buildings in the trailer seem to have lights inside, instead of ones that look like this. This building sure has a lot in it. Feature number five, more stores to explore, meaning you can purchase new things. Not just stores, but even hotels and motels, which are seen in the trailer and other various sources. But some of these stores could include grocery stores, appliance stores, home improvement stores, and so much more. Feature number six is a feature that a lot of GTA 6 fans hope to see. Viable mansions. You can't purchase mansions in GTA 5. This is a pretty nice looking one right here. Surprise, you can't access it. You can't find them on websites either to purchase. But how cool would it be to own a mansion in GTA 6? They would definitely be pretty expensive though. Feature number seven is something I really hope to see in GTA 6. Functional gas stations. Your vehicle has infinite fuel in GTA 5, which means gas stations serve no purpose. There aren't even gas caps on most of the vehicles. A gas station was seen in the GTA 6 trailer, and it would only make sense that they would add that for one reason. That reason would be that vehicles could actually run out of fuel, and you could use gas stations. I'm usually only at the gas station for one reason. That was so much fun. And for the final feature, but not the final feature of the game, just the final feature that I'll be talking about. Feature number eight is improved graphics and AI. GTA 5 kind of has a small issue with AI. Traffic seems to want to run into you all the time. I've never really found out why. It's usually just in general though. Not only would vehicle AI improve, but also civilian AI. In terms of graphics, they are already pretty decent in GTA 5, but the graphics that were shown in GTA 6 look pretty good. All I can say is no matter what device you're playing on, it might explode due to the intensity of the map size for GTA 6. I'm not sure how many times GTA 6 is going to get delayed, but in my opinion, it's better that it gets delayed instead of feeling rushed, so it turns into a much greater experience.